Hey people of the grid, it's Wednesday, February the 22nd. My workout is done. Gotta go get the kids to school. Got a full day of work. Ooh, today is my interview for uh, Global News on the uh, electric vehicle thing. So they're gonna come by and take a picture around lunch. Looking forward to that. Mr. Ethan, ready for school? Yep. Oh yeah. You have a good day. And you too. Love you. Catch you later. Yep. Love you too. Bye. Have a good one. Say hi to Amelia. Yep. Looks like Tammy dropped off Amelia early this morning. She had to be here for some kind of tryout. So uh, Tammy brought her in, I think for 7.15 a.m. I don't know what she's trying out for now. She did ba maybe badminton. I don't know. That girl's trying everything. Everything that school has, <laughs> she's trying it. It's good. Okay, so kids are dropped off. I'm gonna take a five minute pit stop and uh, wash the car so that when they take a picture of it, it doesn't look uh, the way it normally does, which is super dirty. Just we drive it so much, I don't have time to wash it and then it gets, uh, the roads get dirty and there's no point and then it gets really, really cold and there's no point. So now I have to. Gonna go watch, uh, wash Cora for her big photo shoot. share this with you guys and I missed it. I always miss it. 19,000. Six months and almost seven months. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, just feels so much better when it's clean. Check, it, check that out. Better, 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 better. Oh, see, even the light runner's clean. And of course it's snowing. Me, all better. Oh, I just feel better. Hey guys, it is just before lunchtime and Tammy and I are going to squeeze in a workout. The guy who's uh, doing the article on electric vehicles, he just came by, took pictures of Tammy and I. We smiled with the cars and uh, the cars are clean. Yay! <laughs> it was good he came because he forced us, uh, it forced us to wash them because we don't want dirty cars in the pictures. So. Yeah. Both Cora the leaf, the and leaf the Light Runner got washed. The Leaf didn't get washed, so we'll have to. We'll show the Leaf some love. Get Ethan uh, maybe out driving here one of these days too. Now that I the roads are. I was gonna let him drive Cora when but we. But he didn't have his driver's Cora license. Cora. Yeah. So there we go. Heading for a workout. If we have time after, we'll grab a quick lunch, and then I've got to get back to the uh, home office and uh, catch up on a ton of emails. I've fallen really, really behind on emails. I got a lot. I gotta respond to. Uh, so. 2000? No, it's about. I still got you beat then. It's about <laughs> 15. No, I'm only at a thousand ish. But really? Yeah. That's not like. Usually you. I'm at like 50. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Gotta I'm see if I can. At, actually, 2000 for me is a small amount. You know what? That and it creates stress. Like it having those create there stress. creates stress for me. So I've got to get to it. It's just. It's a prioritization thing. There's other things that are more important. I, I get to the important ones in there, but a lot of them are low priority. So I've got to clean out all of the low priority ones, get caught up, and then life will be good. And it'll happen all over again. So our son, Ethan, is going to a boys camp. It's called Arcathios Winter Mission. And he's gonna be camping outside in the snow, in the freezing cold for uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We pick him up Sunday afternoon. 
He's done it before. He's, he's done it before, yeah. Except this time he doesn't have holes in his boots. He did it before with holes in his boots. He didn't tell me. And he he did great. I, I mean, I saw it. I was there with him. I was out there too. And I gave him the option. I said, we can get you new boots. We can I have... I brought them to him. We can get new boots here. But he said, no, it's good, Dad. I'm, I'm good. Not cold. He was fine. You keep moving around. And as long as your feet are dry, he wasn't taking on moisture. He was with good. With holes in his boots? With holes in his boots. Yeah. I don't know how he did it. It was really cold. Yeah. That we that when Ethan cold. and I were out there that was about two years ago the overnight temperature and we slept I slept outside the boys slept in a tent they had their own heater but the dads and the men we slept away um, we were outside and I was like exposed to minus 25 minus 26 degrees Celsius one of the dads you know who you are he crawled into his truck and slept in a running truck with the window cracked so that he could be He'd warm all die. night we could have died sleeping in the cold, but survived. Got a few more hairs on my chest, and it was good. So Ethan will be fine. He's tough. Yeah. We do a lot of camping. I'm not even. He could be out there by himself. Learning some great stuff. I know he would survive. Yeah. We're uh, just preparing for the zombie apocalypse. You know what's going to happen. So that's why all the girls have knives. They all know how to build forts. They watched all the zombie movies. They've watched a few zombie movies. There's more. Got to introduce some aliens because that's another threat. There's zombie threat and then there's alien threat. And you don't know which will come first. Maybe they'll tag team us. You got to be ready. That new alien movie looks freaky. What did Melissa say? It was the cutest thing. She said about the zombie apocalypse. The apocalypse. She said, when the zombie apocalypse happens, Dad, I'm sticking with you. Yep. And she didn't really... Your outcome wasn't so good. Well, basically, Ethan she, was... She Ethan rated was, our survivability, and she figures that I'm going to survive, so she's sticking with me. Mom, she kind of wrote her off. Yeah, and see, Ethan has a totally different take on it. He figures I'll survive because you'll protect me. Yeah, he's got a good take on it. So, so he's going to stick with you because he knows I'll be covering you. Yeah. Smart kids. Yeah, they all have a plan for the zombie apocalypse. you, you got to have a plan. It's the number one thing. All right, we're here. We're gonna go do a really fast workout on the bike, super fast, and then done. And I understand you're pretty excited about the whole workout thing too. Why is that? Are you excited about the workout thing? Yes. <laughs> you lie. Lies. All lies. All lies. Hey guys, my day is done. Just had supper with Tammy and the kids. I made omelets. Oh yeah. It's about the only thing I can make. Huh, I can make toast. I can make French toast because it's a combination of omelets and toast. Anyways, I'm on my way. Uh, I got a quick uh, pit stop I got to make tonight. Quick meeting. And then I'm uh, going to be back home. Tomorrow, Ethan goes to camp. So he's going to be gone for four days. So we're hoping uh, maybe to squeeze in a board game tonight. Some quality time with Ethan before he goes away. We're going to miss the little bugger. Yeah. You know, when I was talking earlier about a plan, plan for zombie attack, plan for alien attack, I was thinking that planning process, it applies to everyday life too. I think it's very important that we all have a plan, plan or a contingency plan. <clears throat> the one I'm thinking about is I ran into two friends of mine. Um, one just, uh, just started a new job. He was off for a bit, picked up a new job. Congratulations, Victor. And um, the other one has uh, recently been laid off, released from work, and is looking. And so, you know, my thinking is, in that aspect, when it comes to work, got to have a plan. A plan that'll get you on your feet as quickly as possible, but also, you know, a plan of what you're going to do if you're in that situation. So, you know, where are you going to look? Who are you going to call? Who are you going to connect with? all of that stuff that needs to get done in order to start looking for for work or for your next job and then a plan also around goals I know I talked a couple of episodes ago about goals because a lot of people ask me how do you how do you get a Tesla how do you get you know how do you get anything that you set your mind and heart on how do you make that happen and it really comes down to setting goals but setting goals isn't enough because setting goals without taking action it's pointless. It's a fun exercise. It's kind of like dreaming, but unless you're going to take action, and that's where the plan comes in, and then 
as you're taking action, you need to measure that plan. Is it working? Is it getting you closer to the goal, further away from the goal? Do you need to tweak the plan? And it's important that we're flexible enough to tweak the plan on the fly. If you think about an airplane, when an airplane takes off from point A to point B, it is never, it's never on course. It's, it's pointing the right way for a while, but then it gets blown off course, it drifts, and the pilot has to correct, bring it back. And then it drifts a little more, and then he has to bring it back, or she, and then it goes this way, and then they gotta bring it back. Like, it is a constant process of tweaking the plan, of correcting that flight plan to get to the goal. So keep that in mind, set your goal, look at what other people have done to achieve the goal, and then make a plan, and make a backup plan, and a backup plan, and be ready to tweak the plan as you go. When zombies invade, you gotta have a plan, and you gotta be ready to tweak that plan based on what's working, what's not. Plan. One thing I get asked a fair bit, too, is how do you end up having the things that you want? Like, how does this, how does this happen? And I've got the magic word for everybody out there. It's it's a really, really simple word. Work. Work for it. It's gonna take a long time. Work for it. That's it. The mistake people make is they look at other people and they look at them at a given instant of time and they see what they've accomplished and they say, I want that or I want to accomplish that. Why can't I accomplish that? But they totally ignore the fact that it may have been 15, 20, 30 years in the making. They just look at, oh my gosh, they have this thing or they've accomplished this whatever it was. How come I can't do that? And they ignore all of the work, all of the training, all of the, you know, all of the effort that has to go in. It's kind of like what I'm doing with fitness, right? I'm trying to get healthy. If I was just to look at the people on the covers of magazines and say, how come I'm not there? I would get discouraged because that's an instant in time. And what I'm not seeing on the cover of that magazine, aside from the Photoshopping, but what I'm not seeing, you know, is all of the work that that person put into getting there. That's the thing you can't forget. You don't get anything without working for it, ever. And if you do, it's not going to last because it's way different when you achieve it yourself versus when somebody hands it to you on a platter. When somebody hands it to you on a platter, there's a whole different level of care and respect for that item or that thing versus when you bust your butt and you go out and you struggle and you sweat and you worry and you labor and you accomplish that goal. That is much more rewarding. Okay. I gotta get to my meeting. I'm gonna wrap that up, and then I'm gonna get home, and then I'm gonna relax. What are you building? Amelia. What are you building? Because it's freezing in here. It's not freezing. Yeah. Hmm. Says the girl on fire. You working on the homework that never ends? Yep. It just goes on and on, my friend. I'm working on it. I know. How's it going? Last day, right? Yeah. I have this page, which is almost done. I'm going to print two pictures for this one, and then I have this page to finish. So, almost done. You'll get it done. Good job. Yep. What are you guys watching? Oh, we got the new movie! Yay! It's pretty cool. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Yeah? saw the pig. I think the pig's my favorite. Yeah. The pig and the... I like the rooster too. He's pretty funny. Hey guys. It's 9.30 at night. That's about it for our day. Um, it was a good day. Got a lot of work done. Got some pictures taken with uh, the cars for that uh, news article. And um, had a good meeting. Kids watched Moana. That's an awesome movie. Highly recommend it. And uh, remember, make a plan. If you don't have one, make one. That's about it. Micer, out.